to all my queers and dears. Welcome back to the stream where we play nonviolent games. <clears throat> games that reward the player for intellectual and or emotional engagement rather than for combat or other forms of violent gameplay loops. We are back with Deponia today. Just FYI, this time, I'm breaking it off on purpose. Well, of course, I mean I'm going to uh, adjust it just a little bit more. Oopsie. That is the Upper Ascension Station, somewhere up there. The last high boat to Elysium is waiting. Bambina? Lottie? What are you doing here? And why are you dressed as men? First of all, these are our uniforms. We're now office <coughs> officers of the resistance! <laughs> officers. <laughs> Cute. Moreover, it's Private Lottie to you now and Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Sergeant Bambi. <laughs> Do you hear that, Lottie? I think Ruf I think Rufus is making fun of us, Sergeant! I think he's looking for a new set of teeth. Ladies, ladies, please stay calm. Don't get your panties in a knot. That causes chafing. <laughs> Attention! Ah! Behind you! <laughs> Naturally, I was referring to myself, you herbal cannon fodder supplement. Yeah, right. We're only taking orders from our squad leader! Yeah, well, I don't care who that is. She's under my command as well. I'm the big chief, after all. <laughs> nice try, Rufus. But we know the general, and you're not him. The what? The general? <laughs> squad leaders? Generals, have I really been gone that long? So you've joined the resistance now, too. <laughs> Do you mind? Of course not, Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Well, it's funny. Don't you get it? Oh, for pity, but it's just... sexy. What? It's got nothing to do with some women in the resistance. <laughs> you see? And I don't think it's... Never. Or Wombat. Oh, I love Wombat. Exactly. Just like... Yeah, I'm just, I was just gonna... I don't. All right, I don't. That's what. Just skipping the sexism. Yoo hoo! Open up! Yes? Liebold! What luck! Uh, let me in! Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me! Rufus! Come on, you must recognize your leader. You look like Rufus, but you can't be him. Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yenosh. Yeah, but I'm right here. That's your opinion. <laughs> I don't have time for this nonsense. Who's in charge here? A new leader. Well, then let me in. I, I want to talk to him. No, I can't. How can I be sure you're not an Organum spy? <laughs> that takes the cake. After all, I started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you? Huh. This is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups. Something's moving back there. It's hard for normal eyes to tell what it is. But I can see it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a blurry blob. No doubt about it. I 
are you merely saying that I find it inappropriate for you to be selling rope directly next to my practice? I don't know what you're talking about. I stock nothing but high quality products. And with all due respect, your clientele seems to feel the same way. Since the Organon destroyed the facade between our businesses, my sales have tripled. I've never had a customer come back with a complaint. That... Uh, no, forget it. I just did. Moe's Therapeutic Ropes, the cheaper alternative. God, I, ha I hate this. I hate this so much. Mmm, velvety. It flatters the neck. <gasps> Two ropes for the price of one. Moe's therapeutic ropes. <laughs> Apparently, the knot will be worn more to the left in the upcoming season. Ah, I see you are interested in our flyer. <laughs> Very much so. Excellent. You'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression, you should act now. Many models are out of stock during the holidays. Um, uh, what are you doing? Well, I'm making a paper airplane. What else? Oh, my beautiful flyer! Well, we'll see if it's a beautiful flyer in the test flight. Yoo-hoo! Good day to you, sir. Would you like to buy a rope? We have exactly the right rope for every neck. Hmm, what are the financing options? <laughs> a man with gallows humor. I like that. But we only accept cash, unless, of course, you're participating in our rebate campaign. With 30 points, you get a toaster with a fixture for the bathtub. Nah, uh, I don't really know. I think I'll take a look around first. Of course. Take your time, and don't hesitate to ask if you need any help trying something off. Yeah, I, I, I hate that. I, I hate that a lot. Hmm. Barry! There's somebody at the door! I heard it! Chase him off! I need quiet for the cover story! You know, about that idiot who almost got us all killed! <sighs> yeah, I know! Psst! Rufus, come in! But please be very quiet, okay? Hey, Barry. Why so sad? Oh, Rufus, it's terrible. Everyone says you aren't a hero. You're an idiot. They say you brought down the end of the world upon us. Ah, they're just jealous. I'm totally swell. And you know it. I don't know what to think anymore. I haven't been able to get a single shot of your heroic deeds. What, you just aren't as good a photographer as I am? If only I had just one photo as proof of your selflessness. Yeah, that would be great for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll find the subject for another heroic deed, and you'll get your photo. Agreed? Oh, that would be so great. I'll be right back. All right, cool. Hmm. Hands off. The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. Not beyond hope. He look he tries to call for his mother, but he has a baguette in his mouth with a whole bunch of spiders crawling out of it. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> you don't want to know. He looks like that mime I sometimes dream about. He tries to call for his mother, but he has a baguette in his mouth. Yeah, there you go. Why <laughs> you I'd like a therapy session. It doesn't work like that. You need a doctor's referral. <laughs> Is that really... My family doctor doesn't much like me. The last time I saw him, he locked me up in prison just because I set fire to City Hall. Uh... Uh-huh. Then you're in the right place. <laughs> that much is sure. But first, you need a referral. Yeah. All right. And in the meantime, 
I'll get a larger notepad. I have a doctor's referral. And may I see it? Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. You could at least put on some romantic music. Just lie down, okay? All right, all right. All right, first, I would like you to tell me why you're here. So, I've got this friend. A friend. Uh-huh, I see. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He just lies around all day, doing nothing. And, according to you, what should he be doing? Well, something useful for a change, like saving the world, etc. Saving the world. Don't you think that's asking a bit much of a single person? Of course, it's practically impossible, but that didn't stop us before. We had many narrow escapes, but now, of all times, so close to victory, boom, count me out, nothing doing. Well, I can understand your friend pretty well. He's under enormous pressure and probably scared. Yes, naturally. That sounds like him. Black beard on the outside, yellow liver on the inside. And quite rightfully so, don't you think? Save the world. That's a huge responsibility. He can't split himself in three after all. Exactly. Unlike me. <laughs> As you say, he... Uh, uh, Say what? Yeah, I was feeling pretty down myself when there was only one of me. Whoa! <laughs> Let's take this slowly. Actually, that was mainly because of this stressful resurrection business and, of course, the fact that I had killed my girlfriend. Uh, I see. One thing at a time. Why uh, don't you just tell me a little bit about uh, yourself? I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. Deponia. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. I just want to leave this place. Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Uh, I see. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday when I brushed my teeth. In the mirror. Right. And what's so terrible about him? Well, you know, Gold's ex fiance is an Elysian. A real sleaze bag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, that makes you feel uncomfortable. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow, I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your inner turmoil is truly remarkable. Yeah, what complex? But, but this isn't about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. I'm racked with guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor that you, uh, killed your girlfriend? Isn't that what you told me earlier? Nah, it's fine. I revived her. I'm more worried about her going down the drain. She's only a baby. Uh, I see. I'm plagued by fears of failure. There's so much left to do, and so little time. Even splitting myself in three doesn't seem enough. But you still seem pretty relaxed to me. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself. <laughs> no way. I'm super cool. I was referring to the other two me's. I'm afraid this is getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure. But sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? Yes. Are you even listening to me? I was dead. You mean you had a near-death experience? Doesn't get any nearer. What was it like? Hmm, like a nightmare at first. Then I remember a light, and eventually I met my maker. Really? Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Ah, uh, I see. I could tell you about my childhood. I'd like that. 
Yes. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first he took me along to the city hall. But at some point I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. After that, I was mostly locked up by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then, by the time I turned four, I learned how to open those handcuffs using the underwire from Grandpa's bra. Uh, I see. Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. But th this is not really about me. It's about my friend. Are you quite sure about that? Couldn't it be that this is primarily about you after all? That's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Wow, you're good. Everyone else always asks if there's something wrong with that. <laughs> I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm, how about a Rorschach test? What? You're gonna lock me up in a shack with a lion? Uh, it's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game? <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. Much more so than my father, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. So, what do you see in this picture? That's me on Elysium, together with Goal. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving the order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. What do you see here? Ah, a lovely glitter elf. You what? <laughs> a glitter elf, you know, like in a fairy tale. Uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. This is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a glitter elf if it crawled up their butt. Uh, I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. What do you see here? Ah, that's my picture on the front page, as man of the year. Please, be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right, that's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. Oh, right. I still need a suitable subject for a heroic deed. All these subquests. Moe's Therapeutic Ropes. The cheaper alternative. <laughs> will you look at that? Apparently, the knot will be worn more to the left in the upcoming season. Hmm. Is it really that hard to make these things stable? The letter is a drip. My dear, I wish you could. That's gonna come up. Well, at least service, to be more exact, I stepped on all, all the effort. Yeah, we, we looked at that already. Uh... Hmm. There's only one single letter in the type case. A capital Yurk. Isn't this needed? No, whatever for. There are hardly any words that contain it. And we already reported on the Seder Knuckles in our winter special, Mythological Physical Extremities. Oh yeah, I think Tony had that issue. Whatever for. The cover story was about centaurs. Oh yeah, of course, I remember.
He looks grumpy. I better not bother him. Never stopped you before, pal, but okay. Those old fogies aren't getting anything from me. According to the intergenerational contract, they still owe me a complete education, flute lessons, and a clean planet. But I'd be happy to have a sports car instead. I'm definitely not going to subject myself to that humiliation again. It was bad enough that I had to repeat kindergarten. The future is not yet written, at least not on this piece of paper. No time for black box testing. If my name were Urkel, I could stamp my initials all over the place now. Too bad. Huh. Mail for Widow Bozo! There's no Widow Bozo here. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. Hey, where's the applause? That was a real side splitter. What's in the letter, Rufus? I'm not telling. I want the laughter back. Tell me I'm not supposed to give this to Bozo. The fastest way is usually the best. But in this case, I'm not sure about that. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all right, you old grouch. Come on, get up. You need to vouch for me so they'll let me see the new general of the resistance. Go away. But... I don't wanna. That's not the whooping pox, that much is clear. But what is it then? Come on, get out. You need to vouch for oh. but... Well, look at that. I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry it up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one. It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level. You hello. Oh, rats! Nobody there. This is uh, what? A pacifier? At least it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooly, and uh, well, pacifier shaped. There's something growing there. Some kind of moss or brush. Here we go. <laughs> <gasps> Not so well. You'll wake up the dangerous beast! Right, so, um... Here we go! Let's give her the pacifier. There. That should shut her up for now. Here we go! <gasps> I got it! Here we go! <gasps> Hmm, feels like there's more back there. I feel a draft, and the air is warm and moist. Here we go. <gasps> ha, got it. Hmm, this is dry, long, and thin. No doubt about it. It's the plot of Secret Files Tunguska. <laughs> or a low-hanging branch, either one. Hmm, no doubt it's the plot for a... Hmm, no, it's the poor Aloha. It's a pretty big roast. There, 
The kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now... Hey, sure, I can light a fire this way. Ha <laughs> ha! Success! Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal. <laughs> Goal? Uh-oh. <laughs> Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's-it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. It's such a nice day outside, and I'm hanging out in the sewer. Ah, that doesn't work. I seem to be stumbling about in the dark. Once you're big again, I will never kill you, chop you in thirds, or turn you into an infant again. I promise. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> you forgive everything I do. That's what I like about you. Something's moving back there. Not really bad. You said, what? Are you calling me a, a scaredy cat? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're welcome to go look for yourself, Miss Loudmouth. <laughs> yeah, you see? You go. Huh? What was that? Anybody there? Hello? Nah, probably just my imagination. Oh, rats. Nobody there. Oh, okay. I guess. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's... According to the list, so I have to find... Huh? There's something moving. Hello? Anybody there? Darn, that lousy spotlight has wrecked my whole plan. Until the guard is distracted, I better stay here in the shadows. Huh. <laughs> Finally, something around here works. I bet the other two aren't doing as well. <laughs> Those idiots. Huh? What's that? And you and Hey. <clears throat> you don't know what you want when you stand there's no plan with the one with the big old leg so Cowboy Dojo. Cowboy Dojo. we got this one. Oh, darn. It's secure with a combination lock. <laughs> I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. There we go. This one is going to... I have to find... Um... He's, uh... No, there's no label here. I have to find another crate. Uh... Um, by the way, um... I just, I skipped that song because I don't know if it's going to be like a copyright issue or something. Um, a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. Um. Also uh, Elysium. Perfect. But basically he's, he's uh, some kind of popular singer that. He's distracted. This is my chance. This guy, and, and he's saying uh, it's some sort of song called Look at Me or whatever. So anyways, it's. Uh, so what has Rufus been doing? We well. This one. I have to find... Uh, Rufus has been, um... He's sort of been, uh... Um... Well, he was... Let's see, so he was... So he died, and then was resurrected, uh, and also, at the end of the last game, we accidentally killed Goal, uh, which, um... And then that was... 
you know, she was also getting resurrected. We accidentally screwed that up. That's a waste of time. I should find it. Um. Uh, and uh, so now she's a baby. Um, we're trying to age her up correctly. Um. Uh, and also Rufus cloned himself to uh, get more stuff done. Um, so there's now three Rufuses, and they're all equally awful. Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those Organons are. <laughs> And now, after the unparalleled success of Look At Me, we are pleased to be able to present you with the first exclusive preview of his new single. Yep. Here, for your listening pleasure, comes Cowboy Dodo. And look around! Oh no, not the B-side too. Just again, gonna... Oh, wait, shoot. It also skip this, so I did some of this last time, but there wasn't any sound, so um, sit. I was stay. going back. And... Hey, just stop that! We aren't dogs. Yeah, you can say that again. Dogs are intelligent and able to follow simple commands. Um. So, anyways, um, these are some orphans who were just over there, and I, I guess we accidentally skipped that too. I, again, Sit, I was just trying to. Stay. Hey, we all... yeah, dogs are in... I was trying to just skip the um the music again for potential copyright issues, but um. <clears throat> I guess I accidentally skipped the little cutscene where we get introduced to these as Sit. well. Hey, we all... yeah, dogs are. In... Sit. Hey, we all... yeah. dogs are. In... A fine mess. I got my. Didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. <laughs> I won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Oh yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers in. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it? Yes. And I got the five Zlotties for it. Fantastic! You see, Gold, I told you I'd rescue you. Do you really have to hound me like this all the time? Yes. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But I hope you know that children who contradict grown-ups will be eaten by evil clowns. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Y yeah, but I, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, Mama Cosima's hand crochet johnnies are extremely tear resistant. Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever! 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 Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. Where did you take the nucleic acid again? 
I sold it to the Sewers Inn for the five Zlotties. Leaf says it's some kind of super fertilizer. But it was my super fertilizer. How was I supposed to know that? After all, decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time. And it's rather unusual for people to come by later and lay claim to it. So you have five Zlotties? Yes, all five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly five Zlotties. And at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm, sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, I, I, I see. Will you lend me your five Zlotties? No. I want to keep them. No, oh, come on. Don't be that way. I mean, what good is all the wealth if you don't share it with your friends? Very simple. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? I'm making a monkey of myself so that you'll give me the five Zlotties. Sounded more like a rusty water pipe to me. Does that mean I humiliated myself for absolutely nothing? No, don't worry. Before you can humiliate yourself, you first have to attain a certain standard. There actually is a dancing monkey. You mean the organ grinder's monkey? I've seen it. It's a miserable monkey. It can't even dance. I'll keep my money. You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five Zlotties. But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot palm a bunch of children off on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Fair enough. I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun, and... Uh, wait a moment. Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said, I've got to go. Ciao. Gross. Very gross. <laughs> <coughs> Ouch. One doesn't need any mycological training to know that this mushroom here is completely harmless. I bet he's wrong about that. A one doesn't need any. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so that's pretty clearly how we get the uh, humiliation. Right now, we just need a written statement. Such a funny little monkey. I'm not a monkey. Oh, it talks. Do you know any other tricks? I could smash your nasal bone up into your brain if you want me to. Wow. I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, flinging poo, something amusing like that. Huh. No crank to be released. There's something missing from this jack. It's something, I don't know, like a crank handle. And it should fit exactly into this crank hole. Now what could it be? Do you really have to hound me like that? <laughs> yeah, but I hope. How much does it cost to see the monkey dance? Five zlotties. And if I give it a peanut? Hey, I am not a monkey, and the price is not negotiable. Wow, it can talk. Okay, let's say two peanuts. You can't negotiate with people like that. They only know one language. Fisticuffian. Oi, mate. What you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to the pub. We've practicing, Toad. Were you dropped on your head or what? They aren't mine. Yeah. 
That's what my old man always said. And then he tied me and Macy up outside the pub. And did it harm you? Well, I don't know about Macy. Her leash broke. Uh, oh. Um, and is all the, um... Is all the sound and everything working, by the way? I wonder where the other two me's wound up. Okay, great. You. Oh, rats. Nobody there. I worked hard for this, and I'm certainly not going to toss it out the window just like that. The reception is okay, but I'm absolutely certain on this frequency, all I'll get is some idiotic ham radio operator. You! Uh, I hope this won't happen again. Uh, please excuse me, wrong number. Take care. Say what? We're supposed to open the container and release the zombie viruses into the air? What? No, no, abort! Abort! Password verified. Virus container opened. I hope you know where to. Uh, yeah, you have a nice day too. You! Huh, nothing. Huh, nobody seems to be sending on this frequency right now. Oops. Yerk, as in, it would be most yerksome if I can't find a use for this. Who needs a cheap copy when they have the original? Everybody knows that important can be lost in a copy. Who needs a cheap? Everybody knows. Mail assistant wanted. You're looking for an assistant? Ah, oh, so you can read. Bravo. I'm looking for a handsome man to work under me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> too bad I'm busy. I said handsome, didn't I? Hi there. Hello. W was that all? Just hello? What would you like to hear, huh? Welcome to Burrito Rat Paradise. So you think my sign isn't flashy enough? Nah, not really. Have you seen a, a, a baby pass through here? I know nothing about missing babies. Nothing. And no one can prove otherwise. Oh, come on. It should have passed here just, just a minute ago. Oh? In that case, I really don't know. What are you selling here? This is a fashion boutique. I sell men's suits with matching designer hats. Yeah, looks more like a burrito stand to me. How perceptive of you, Inspector Trash Vest. Why are you even asking? Since you obviously swallowed a lie detector, huh? Any special offers today? I've got these burrito wraps for 1.25 zlotties each. If that's not special enough for you, go someplace else where they have flashing signs that say special offer. But you can count on it that their burrito wraps cost a lot more. Flashing signs don't come for free, you know. Four burritos, please. Sorry, my assistant resigned. You had an assistant? Yeah. No idea how he managed to open his shackles. Well, why don't you just make the, the burritos yourself? I've had surgery. The doctor says I shouldn't move too much. That's my big heart. Why? Did you donate a kidney? No, didn't you listen? I said my heart is too big. Oh, come on. Make me a few burritos, will ya? No, without an assistant. Do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? Ah, uh, just down the road, behind me. And you tell me just like that? I mean, what if I were an Organon spy? Well, you just can't plan for everything, can you? You could have been a mutated flu virus. 
then I shouldn't even have talked to you. Uh, nothing from me right now. A good choice. We got plenty of that. Who needs a cheap car? Everybody. Mail? Yeah, well, she can. In case you are wondering if the rope will match your outfit, we have the same model in ochre, mauve, eggshell, and my personal favorite, burgundy. Uh-huh. And that's why I ran all the way up here? In case you are wondering, we have... Uh-huh. Eleganza, the rope for the fashion-conscious woman. In case you uh, classy. I bet they'd look good on gold. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. Hands off! The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. Oh, he's handing out flyers now. Just get out of here with that. Oh, come on. Competition is good for business. Well, not in this case. Oh, uh, yeah. What is it now? Mr. Rufus, we can't get up there. Who says you're supposed to come up here? We need to stay with you. It's just too dangerous here for children like us. Nonsense! Danger is like ghosts. There's no such thing. Certainly not here. This area is teeming with nice people. So scram. Go, go and play. Oh, how cute. They've already found some friends. Yeah, he really does. I hate him so much. He's so awful. Um, hey, snot faces. Give me a leg up, will ya? But Mr. Rufus. Oh, but Mr. Rufus, sir. Yeah, alright, my bad. Just forget it. An electrical heat source for home use. Some kind of newfangled gadget. Ah, uh, give me a good old-fashioned roof fire anytime. Goon, you old war horse! What are you doing here? Oh, no. Not you. Not you. Is he a friend of yours? Far from it. Goon? Why are you being so rude to the poor guy? Unfortunately, he has a good reason. We used to be best friends. No! We were not. Yes, we were. We even had a hip-hop project going. Oh, no, we didn't. But then I... I just left him in the lurch. I still feel terribly guilty. What on Deponia are you talking about? I thanked my lucky stars the moment you were gone. Yeah, I know. I know. You're bitter. So, it's a good thing that we meet again. I have so much to make up to you. I don't get this at all. Oh, I almost forgot my manners. You haven't introduced me to your lovely companion. Do I have to? Goon? <sighs> All right. June, this is Rufus. Rufus, this is June, my girlfriend. Pleased to meet you, Rufus. Don't be so hasty. Uh, can I borrow the uh, space heater? Well, you know, it's pretty cold here, but if it isn't for long. Uh, June, uh, let me handle this, all right? What do you need it for, Rufus? Well, you know, I, I thought, uh... Oh, oh, I just remembered that the warranty will be void if we lend it to you. 
Sorry, Rufus. Perhaps some other time. Hello, you two turtle doves. <laughs> Uh-oh. Good. Cut it out. Hello, Rufus. You know, I owe you an apology, Goo. I, I treated you pretty badly last time. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I wish I could do something to repay you. You could just disappear and leave us in peace. Goon, what has gotten into you? It's all right, June. I can understand if your friend feels resentment towards me. I treated him very badly in the past. It's no wonder he doesn't want to accept my apology. I'll simply have to live with a guilty conscience for the rest of my days. Uh, you'll survive, I'm afraid. Goon. He apologized. Now, say something. <sighs> All right. Rufus, I'm not mad at you. But whatever you did to me, ultimately it led to me meeting June, and I am really grateful for that. Oh, if only it were that simple. But I sense that I have to do something for you to really make amends. What? No, 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 no. no don't do anything. It's fine. Do you hear? Something really, really really big oh heavens oh boy so the two of you are really together with all the trimmings ding dong know what i mean <laughs> yes we're together it's just perfect and what about you and that goal oh this is also uh super <clears throat> also ding dong oh yeah does she still have those Problems. I, do, I don't know what you're uh, talking about. Well, she would suddenly go oddly childish. Oh, <laughs> that. Well, let's, let's just say our relationship has, has gotten off to a real new uh, start. <laughs> oh, yeah. The good old days, huh? Our long conversations about social disparities. A warm campfire. Freestyling on the key wall. <laughs> oh, that was just a couple of days ago. Yeah, time really flies. You broke my umbrella and forced me to eat a boot. Sounds like you had fun. Fun? June, he's completely crazy. <laughs> we were both crazy back in the day. Did Goon ever tell you about his legendary pranks? Oh, one time. <laughs> he dressed up as a bum to annoy the poor people in the slums. <laughs> uh, it wasn't like that. He even smeared poop on himself so that he would stink as much as they did. <laughs> June, don't believe a word he says. No, let him finish talking. This is the first time I've met one of your old friends. But he is not an old friend. He's more like a mad being from a bizarre parallel universe. Yeah, life was crazy for us all back then. So, how's life been treating you, old pal? Let's see. Uh, apart from the chronic pneumonia that I caught, and the fact that it really hurt when they had to remove the shoelace from my intestines with a probe, I think things have turned out pretty well. I met June. We've been together now for almost a week. And right now, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> couldn't be happier. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> have you looked around? Hello? You're in the gutter. We don't care long as we've got each other. Oh, stop! <laughs> I can't take any more! <laughs> no, sorry. <clears throat> I, I don't mean to make fun of your misery. I I'm a changed man, and to prove it, I am going to repay you for what I did to you by getting you out of here. Yes, sirree. You live in the sewers? That's terrible. We're fine. We're happy. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have that. You're such good people. You deserve something better than a life in the gutter. A beautiful townhouse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, a villa. The finest house for the finest couple in Porta Fisco. Oh, how sweet of you. And you know what? I am going to help you. No, Rufus, really don't help. Anything but that. Goon, what is wrong with you? I insist on doing you a favor. 
no, Rufus, that really isn't necessary. We're happy the way we are. <laughs> yeah, sure. Happy in the gutter. <laughs> you jokers. <laughs> but seriously, I have already got a couple of ideas about how I can radically improve your lives. Radical? Oh, help. What are you planning? <laughs> I'm not telling. Let it be a surprise. Oh, isn't that exciting, Boone? Boone, are you trembling? Hold me. <laughs> be seeing ya. Please, at least give us time to find hard hats. Goon. June, I promise you, your boyfriend is 100% correct. Is that you? No, it's your reflection in a puddle in the gutter. Of course it's me. Wait a minute. You ended up in the sewers? <laughs> You're in it up to your neck. Yeah, well, at least I'm doing something useful. Scuba diving in the toilet? I found gold, and I know where the nucleic acid is. And what did you achieve? I kept my coat clean. And have you alarmed the rebels in your clean coat? Not yet, but I met Bozo. Unfortunately, he's... No help at all. You call that news? <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, it's good to know we can meet up here and share things through this grate. Yes, that may come in useful. I could hand some objects down to you. Wouldn't it be just the coolest thing if there was a new interface element for that? Hey, that's awesome. Let's hope it works the other way around as well. Great. I'll go see what I can come up with then. Uh, maybe I can find you some toilet paper. Yeah, if there's a choice, can you get me the three-ply stuff? <clears throat> I worked hard for this. And I, I worked hard. And I'm Ah, there we go. Better not. They've already found some friends. No, they haven't. It's not a friend. And therefore, dear children, you will certainly not regret getting into my dark van with me. What's going on here? This shady character is trying to lure us into his van under very suspicious circumstances. Uh-huh. So what are you waiting for? You cannot be serious. Children must never enter strange people's vans. That's a very important rule. Nah, nah. Rules are for people who are too clumsy to cheat. I'm sure this friendly gentleman only has your best interests in mind. Right? Um, yes. Of course. He claims that he's got a petting zoo with cute animals in there. A petting zoo? <gasps> really? What? Um, well... <laughs> actually... Ooh, me first. O out of my way. Ooh, ooh. Pretty dark in here for a petting zoo. And where are the cute animals? Um, well, here, right in front of you. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa. What? What are you doing? No. You're... You're killing that poor animal. That's nothing of the sort. Yes, you are. You're choking it. No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it. Immediately. Get out of here. No. There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? What and? It was totally cool. The animals were mega cute. And I got to pet them. 
I think you're fibbing. Ha, ah, you're just envious. Next time, I'll make a print. Then you'll weep with envy. <laughs> I'm so envious, I want to die. <laughs> and then I'll laugh. Knock, knock. What do you want now? I want to visit your petting zoo again. <laughs> no, thanks. I... Hey! What do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, don't sweat the small stuff. I just want another peek at your animals. But, but, but stay cool, man. I'll only be a minute. Whoa! What? What are you doing? No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? Do you have proof now? <laughs> Certainly! Oh yeah? And what is that supposed to be? Um... A graceful magic elf. What? So that's supposed to be an elf? Of course! Look closer! Here are the wings and here's the, um, uh, you know, whatever they are. It, it was an elf! I'm sticking to it. it. It was an elf. I'm sticking to it. It. it... I will be much male. A yeah. Hmm. Oh. We caught another rebel. Another one. Oh, but that's the same one again. He must have escaped somehow. Huh? But I've never been here before. Very funny. Move. Lock him up in his cell again. Yeah, so th uh, that's the other part I accidentally skipped when I was skipping the second song for a copyright thing, is that uh, this Rufus got caught. Um, yeah, I'm definitely pretty annoyed that that skipped the whole thing. A rug in a prison cell? How she she can you get? Cletus? No, wait. You're one of my clones, right? Cleverly disguised as Cletus. Oh, please. Don't tell me there's more than one of you now. <laughs> Very good. You got your role as a sleazy dimwit down pat. Ugh. Yes. What new head? So, if you are me, how were they able to capture you? Same as you, I suppose. <laughs> the way they captured me was much cooler. And I've already got a plan how we can get out of here. You can spare yourself the effort. I've tried everything. Yeah, maybe. But I have a bunch of new tricks up my sleeve that you don't even know. Oh, even though we're the same person? Yeah. Watch and learn. And what about your oh-so-brilliant rescue operation? Just relax. I'll get us out of here in no time. Hey, hello? Yoo-hoo! What do you want? Stop making such a racket in there! Yeah, I want to talk to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? Well, uh, actually, I, I was going to defend myself. Whatever you like. Then go ahead and talk to yourself, but no longer than ten minutes, understood? I'm hungry. That's probably because you never touched your breakfast. Hang on, I'll open the food slot. Uh, I need the bathroom. Again? Fine. But this time, don't use so much toilet paper. We've already cleared the store. 
Do you mean that if someone were to prevent the destruction of the planet, the Organon would be out of toilet paper? That would be correct, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. How's that for an incentive to save Deponia? I demand a clean cell. This is a clean cell, and I'm very proud to say so. We have all the latest cleaning technologies. The blankets are lid free, and the toilet fresheners are dirt repellents. And I shampooed the rug earlier today. Wow. Life in the service of the Organon gets pretty boring, huh? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. No, I don't care, as long as you don't barf on the rug. Let me out of here. Forget it. Ah, uh, nothing. Then don't bother me. Okay, let's have a look. Coffee, a bagel, and pepper. What, no jam? That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. And what have we here? A toilet freshener! Wasn't very smart of the Organon to provide me with this essential gem of chemical warfare. Wasn't very smart of the Organon. Say what you like about those Organons, but they know how to make a decent coffee. <laughs> huh, toothpaste and a toilet freshener. Wasn't there something... Yeah, it was the uh, whooping pox uh, thing. Hmm, pepper, wasn't there... This plan could do with some uh, spicing up, but I was thinking along somewhat different lines. Oregano. Ugh. The toilet freshener leaves stains. I'd better keep it away from the other stuff. <laughs> you can't see it, but it should get them thinking anyway. This is what we call, technically, silent protest. Wasn't very smart of the orc. Toothpaste stains just won't come out. No, oh, the toothpaste has the same color as the rug. <laughs> you can't see it, but it should get them thinking anyway. This is what we call... When I eat this bagel, I'm gonna leave crumbs all over the rug. That'll teach them to aggravate the likes of Rufus. A rug? A sheep? It's a lousy substitute for cream cheese, but it'll have to do. Ah, okay. There we go. <laughs> Inspired recipe. This prison food is an affront. I mean, who likes sesame? This prison food... I mean... What is that supposed to be? This is all part of my escape plan. A bagel? What are you going to do with that? Escape through the hole? You know you'd never fit, right? Just wait and see. I'm going to take a holistic approach. <laughs> when I eat this bagel, that'll be... This prison food, I mean... This, I mean... They say you should, but they don't say it. So, here's my tip. The longer you wait, the more meals you can cover in one go. They say you should, but they don't say it. So, here's my tip. They call this bread. Where are the French? <sighs> and, what about your oh so bread? Just for a... Hey, hello? Yoo-hoo! What do you want? Stop making such a racket in there. Uh. Hey, hello? What is it now? Yeah, please don't get me wrong, but this food is inedible. Well, that's all you're getting. That's an outrage. I want to complain to the chef. 
right now. All right. We'll be quick about it. <laughs> what? Hans, what did he say? He apologized and showed me around the kitchen. I have no idea how hard it is to prepare food for prisoners. <laughs> Let me tell you. Rufus, what? I hate you. Why did you... Why didn't you escape? You idiot! What is that? What are you going to escape, you nerd? I'm gonna... A lot of... Everything here is squeaky clean. Good thing, too. At least they won't force me to scrub the cell. What's wrong with your teeth? They're so white. I brush them. Seriously? You, you're taking that disguise a little too far. I've got a plan. I'll spill this coffee on your pants to make it look like you peed yourself. And how is that going to get us out of there? Huh? No, I just thought it would be fun. Ah, there we go. Tidy bot, you old dirtbag, you. Nice to see you again. Hey, is that a way to greet an old buddy? Really? Hey, Tidy bot, all ship shape? Neato. Hey, Tidy bot, Neato. As if I didn't have enough of that in my coat. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> One guess. It's our ticket to freedom. You will eat this slightly adulterated bagel and then pretend to be sick, which should come naturally. And when they take you to sick bay, I will come forth from my hiding place and save us. Over my dead body, you will eat the bagel, and I will save us. Yeah, actually, why not? I'm kind of hungry anyway. No, wait, was that a trick? Just so you could have my food, you rotter. I'm on to you. Give me that bagel. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little... I think I'm going to... <laughs> What have you done? You idiot! You poisoned me! <laughs> Bravo! Very convincing. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> but, uh, you better save your method acting for the guard. Especially your complexion. It's... it's really good. Yoo-hoo! I feel sick. Is that supposed to be me? Who else? Why are you disguising your voice? Oh, trust me, I'm an excellent voice impersonator. What? But, oh, shush. What is it now? If you keep bothering me, I will... What the... You, toe rag! What have you done to my nice rug? Off with you to sit bay right now. Damn! Now I have to air out the cell. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Too bad there wasn't a big chase sequence on jet skis, though. All right, I'm going to wrap up there for today. Thanks for stopping by, Len. And thank you to everyone else who uh, was or wasn't here. Uh, it's great to be here, and uh, I will see you all soon. Uh, I will try and get back to my pretty regular screen stream schedule. Um, it will be a little bit... Uh, of time before I sort of get back into it all because have to build up the energy to stream for like a couple hours again stuff like that but um we'll get we'll be getting back into it uh at some point in the near future thank you so much um 
Now let's just see uh, if we can raid. Okay. Oh, unable to raid? That's a shame. Well, all right then. I will uh, see you all very soon. Bye-bye.